case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The case of United States versus Baldwin, which took center stage in 2001, was resolved by the United States Court of Appeals for the Armed Forces. This sensational case became a cornerstone moment addressing the controversial issue of unlawful command influence in a courtroom setting within the military domain. The appellant, convicted of an array of military offenses with larceny charges being dismissed, inadvertently sowed seeds of discord questioning the lawfulness of the command's influence on the court members of her case. Accepted by the convening authority, her sentence was validated by the Court of Criminal Appeals, but it was the specter of improprieties that led to the overturning of the original decision. In the build-up to the case's appeal, the appellant was compelled to attend two command officer meetings, during which discussions of court-martial sentences and punishments were made. This gave rise to suspicions of plausible jury tampering, as it involved commentary on court-martial sentences pertaining to officers. However, the journey towards justice took a wild turn when the embattled United States Army Court of Criminal Appeals saw its decision set aside. Paving the way for her to challenge the alleged abuses of command influence, the Court of Appeals for the Armed Forces ordered a limited hearing on the issue. In their judgment, the court officials underscored that the appellant's detailed post-trial statement qualified her to press charges against unlawful command influence. Nevertheless, her claim that her post-trial confinement was a breach of Article 55 was firmly rebuffed on grounds of insufficient evidence showcasing a violation of her confinement conditions. In this tangled web of command influence and military justice, the court's curiosity was piqued, officials remained suspicious, and the appellant's battle for justice continued, setting a precedent in military legal proceedings. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.